Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an error This is not enough storage is available to process this command. Please try again or console your system administrator. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back to registry editor. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I highly suggest that you create a backup of it. So if anything ever went wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab up at the top left. Select export. Save it to a convenient location on your computer. Export range should be selected to all. And as for file name, usually the date in which you're making the backup is what I'd recommend. And once you've done that, now you want to expand the HK local machine folder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Do the same thing now for the system folder. So either double click or left click on the little arrow to expand that. Now there should be a current control set folder in here. You want to expand that. Do the same thing for services. Scroll down to landman server. right here and now you want to expand that and it should be a parameters folder under here so go ahead and left click on that one time please note if you kind of got a little lost in where we were going with the path here you can just pause the video and take note of the path at the top of the registry editor right here each backslash is giving you another folder you have to go into so just feel free to pause the video if you need to catch up otherwise we're going to go ahead and move on so on the right side you want to locate something that says IRP stack size. However, if you don't see something in there by that description, you want to go ahead and right click in a blank area, select new, and then select the word 32 bit value. Type in IRP stack size exactly as it appears on my screen. So again, IRP stack size, no spaces. Hit enter on your keyboard. Now that you've done that, you want to go ahead and double click on it. Type the base to decimal and then value data field you want to delete whatever's in there type the number 50 so 50 once you're done with that go ahead and left click on OK now that you're done with that you should be able to close out of the registry editor restore your computer and hopefully that should be about it so as always thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial I hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye